In the centre of the region known as the Bollenstreek, near the town of Lissa, hordes of visitors come to the Kirkenhof Gardens. This is the showground for the bulb growers of the region to display their wares, and a mecca for garden lovers, photographers, landscapers, florists and day trippers. This is probably the most beautiful spring garden in the world. Every year, over a period of just two months, around 850,000 visitors from all over the world come here to view these glorious gardens, making it one of Europe's leading tourist destinations. We're here in mid-April to enjoy millions of flowering bulbs, ponds and waterways, inspirational gardens and lots more. The beautiful gardens are laid out in an imaginative plan. The flower beds are constantly changed, refreshed, redesigned every year with new themes, colours and sculptures. We meet Kirkenhof guide Patricia. Of course we have a wonderful park with a lot of flowers, many tulips, many daffodils, many hyacinths, which is really worthwhile to see it. Then besides that we have five pavilions. Mm -hmm. And there are three pavilions with an exhibition of flowers. Mm -hmm. For instance, Beatrix Pavilion. You notice already a name of our uh, yes. queen, <laughs> Queen Beatrix, because all the pavilions, they carry uh, a name of one of the members of our royal family. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Beatrix Pavilion, you will have a permanent exhibition of orchids. That's really gorgeous. You have to see that. It's wonderful. In gardens, well, we've got 28 people here the whole way around. And there's a lot of work, you see, in the, in the show times. We walk here and everybody got his own uh, situation. And they keep it nice and clean. And when we are finished, we split up in two groups and we take everything out here. We don't keep one single bulb here in Kuykenhof. Because we, go, we walk here maybe 90 growers and they supply the, blow, the, the, con the bulbs on Kuykenhof. It's called pure advertisement for the growers as well and for Kuykenhof. And uh, there's plenty to do here. People ask us a lot of questions, what do you do the whole year round? I said, yeah, I said, when we're finished, we take everything out and we've got to start getting ready for next year again. What inspires you for a, a new design? What elements are you looking for? Uh, well, it begins with the, the suppliers. They have a list of bulbs and uh, that gives me inspire for what, what I can use in the garden. Uh, but next to that, uh, you have uh, like art and fashion and all that kind of, of stuff that you use to make a new design. So, uh, and also what my colleague designers are doing all over the world, I, I just take a peek and I get, oh, that's a good idea, I can use that. <laughs> uh, so I don't have to uh, reinvent the wheel again. Uh, and I just borrow something and make it, make it my own. And, but it's also uh, every year in spring, we go outside and we do things uh, not right. And, uh, and we say, ah, that's, that's not good, we don't do that again. Or it's, hey, that's a good idea, that, that wasn't the, mean, uh, the, the meaning of it. But yeah, it's well, great and maybe we can use it for the next year. <laughs> 